And let's cover some shortcut keys for Factorio. A lot of these are widely used and some might not be so intuitive. So let's just start off with some basics. First, to drop an item you have in your hand on the ground, even if it's something you can build with. Let's say you have items um, and you want to like put some on a belt or anything like that. You want to hit Z to drop one on, on the ground. You can see it. I can, I can just drop all of them on the ground and now, now they're just sitting on the ground. To pick them back up again, you hold down the F key, F as in Frank, and it will pick up everything off the ground. So that is dropping and picking stuff up. Pretty straightforward. If you have something in your hand and you want to not have it in your hand anymore, but you don't want to, you know, go down here and, and click it again, just hit Q. Q will drop it back. If it's in your hotbar, it'll go back to your hotbar. Otherwise, if it's in here, it'll go back to your main inventory. So those are those quick single commands. Alt, the Alt key, brings up the help for every all of the recipes that are used any of the other help that comes up so alt actually tells you you know what's being made and that kind of stuff so that's really handy in order to pick up pick up something out of a chest you don't always have to open the chest and drag it in simply control click a chest and it will pick up everything or it'll try to pick up everything in the chest if it, if your inventory is full it will pick up what it can and then give you a warning all right next item on the list is stack stack manipulation so if you have a stack in your hand and you actually want to drop it into a chest you don't have to open the chest and drag it in simply control click the chest and it will put a single stack in the chest itself and if you have any left over it'll automatically refill your cursor so you can control click another one and it will drop the next stack in there this is very handy for dropping material into assemblers so let's say i had a whole bunch of copper on me and i wanted just to fill up some assemblers simply grab a stack control click all the way down and it will drop it will drop it all in there so that is the dropping the stacks the next is dropping you do the same thing only control left click and it will drop half of the stack and it will automatically refill your cursor for the next drop which you can do there so control right click and control left click is um, dropping stacks or half stacks so let's see you can also do the same thing with picking up stacks you can control or you can uh, right click a stack and it will pick up half of a stack from something you can control click the empty space in an inventory either yours or a chest to move the entire thing so control click there control click there control click also moves a single type of item so if you want to just move all of the steel or kick all of it back and similarly if you have something in inventory and you want to put single items in using the right mouse button put single items down instead of full stacks all right moving on let's move on to the big one copy and paste copy and paste works very very nicely to speed up massive amounts of production first you can use copy and paste for chests that have limits if you want to limit any size chest there's this x in the corner as well as a uh, cargo cargo hold on a train you can limit a chest to only use certain squares and when a chest is limited you can shift right click then shift left click 
and that will paste the limit. So I'll do that again. I'll put a limit on it. Shift right click, shift left click, and it will paste the limit in there. Further, copy and paste can be used between assembly machines. So this assembly machine is producing assembly machines. I want this one to also produce them. Shift right click, shift left click. We'll paste the recipe in. You can also use it for requester chests on, on assembly machine recipes. So you can see the items that the assembly machine wants in its inventory. Well, in order to craft that, you need those ingredients. Instead of going in here, clicking the button, and picking out the items, you can use the copy paste to paste into a requester chest. Simply again, right click, and then left click will automatically populate the logistics requests with enough materials for two crafting operations. Two, exactly two crafting operations. And then you can then click an item and specify if you want to change the item around. So that is a huge, huge one. Now, if you want to specify a small, like a smart inserter, if we want to specify, um, let's put a logistics system down. Now, a smart inserter, if we want to say only move material when the assembly machines in the, in the, in the system is zero. So when there's zero assembly machines, then I want to move. Well, if I have a whole bunch of these assemblers and I have a whole bunch of these smart inserters, I want to copy and paste all of those settings. Well, you can do that same way. Shift right click, shift left click. We'll copy and paste the conditions, the filters, or the wire conditions exactly how you have them. So that is a very simple way. Uh, if you place an inserter or another object like a belt, anything that has direction, you can mouse over it and hit R to rotate it. So if maybe if this is moving them and you don't want it to for a temporary means, you just hit R, it'll, it'll rotate it and it won't move any more material. All right. And the last item on the list is power poles. If you want to control where power poles connect to, all you do is shift click a power pole and it will eliminate its connections automatically. So like this power pole here, if I want this power pole to instead connect down to here, I can shift click this power pole and it will get rid of the it will get rid of it. In order to make it go back, simply give yourself or craft yourself some copper cable, which I have here, and use copper cable to go in between. So I wanna go down to this one instead, and then hit Q, empty it out, and then I want to go to this one. And it will, you can manually specify all of your settings that you want. So that is a rundown of the copy and paste settings in the game. Um, pretty much any device that can have settings, like pretty much anything that has that can be set or configured can be copy and pasted. So I thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up if it was helpful.